Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel where we believe the teaching profession makes every other profession possible. This video is a video about a problem solving activity. Some people call them problems of the month, problem of the week, challenge problems. I'm going to call it a problem of the month just for simplicity purposes. This problem of the month is called summer swimming. It's a geometry problem. It starts for the younger students to just recognize shapes and put them together to make other shapes all the way up to area and volume. This problem of the month is designed to be used school-wide. However, it can be just used in one classroom if a school doesn't want to do it. It's multi-leveled to provide access for all. It's given opportunities to students to go a little deeper. We want students to write, communicate, and think. This is an open-ended problem. We do not expect students to finish this up in 15 or 20 minutes. The standards and the connections for this POM. Standards for mathematical practice, number one, which is part of our common core standards, of course. You're going to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. Really important for our students to learn to persevere and to stick with it. And our standard for mathematical practice, number three, which I consider an extremely important standard for all students, but especially our English language learners, construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. Also, our ELA, ELD connections, the standard of speaking and listening, number one, is all about having students participate in conversations and collaborations and being able to build on each other's ideas and to be able to articulate their own thinking. A suggested POM process is for you to introduce it to the whole group, read it to them, especially if you have younger students, then give them some quiet individual time where they won't discuss it yet, but they will look it over and see if they have any clarifying questions or have to understand any academic language. The most important thing is to have them in groups or partners where they will collaborate, then they have to come to consensus, and then they will create a write-up, a poster. If you don't want to do chart paper in your classroom, you could do mini posters. However, they do need to share with the class. They can do a gallery walk in the class. And I also have included student reflection sheets to use for that. Or if you're going to do it school-wide, a gallery walk at open house or something so all the parents and families can see the student work is really nice. And then, of course, it's very powerful to have student reflection where they get the opportunity to think about their solution and compare it to each other's solution. A suggested write-up for the POM would be that they would write out their problem statement and their solution. They would show their work and their evidence to support that solution and, of course, student reflection. The name of this POM is Summer Swimming. It has um, multiple ability and entry levels and extension opportunities and interdisciplinary connections. All the levels of the problem are provided in PDF files. Included in the purchase is the POM in PDF format, site planning and reflection worksheets, classroom planning, student reflection worksheets, and teacher notes. You may purchase a single user packet for one teacher or a site license would have unlimited use at your school. You may purchase summer swimming at www.mastermiddleschoolmath.com. Thank you for visiting our YouTube channel where we believe the teaching profession makes every other profession possible.